All right, so brand new with Chapter 4 Season 4 are something called Survivor Medals. Now, this is a really interesting take on the survival aspect of Battle Royale. So on the bottom right over there, you can see it says complete quest to upgrade your Survivor Medal. Earn the highest medal before the end of the season. Win the ultimate Survivor Medal by reaching Mythic 1. So there's seven total levels. Just like the weapon rarities, there's common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, exotic, and mythic. Now, me personally, I always thought exotic was higher than mythic, but according to this chart, mythic is the top overall. So how do these actually work? And what do you get for doing them? So you can see I'm on the lowest rank there is, common. And that's because I haven't even played 10 full matches yet in Fortnite. It's been out how many days now? But because I grind so many videos, I don't actually get time to play, which is unfortunate. But it's good for this video though. So each rarity rank has 10 challenges in it. So again, I'm on common, which is the white, which is the silver one on the far left. And there's 10 common medals you have to unlock. So right now I'm on common three and it goes down to common one, obviously, but common three has reached 24 players remaining with an elimination. So for common, the lowest rank there is, every challenge requires you to get one single elimination. Common rank 10 was reached 50 players with one elim and you go all the way down to common one, which is reached 20 players with one single elimination. So that's the common rank. Then you got green or uncommon. So here's all 10 of those challenges. It's pretty much the same thing. You just need one single elimination for all 10, but this time you have to get higher placements. So you start with 30 players with one elim, and it goes all the way down to reach 12 players with one elimination. Then we go up to blue, which is rare, this time you have to get two limbs every single quest. And you have to reach top 30 for the first rank all the way down to top 12, again, with two eliminations. So it's getting a little bit harder. For a purple rank or epic, you have to get three eliminations every single quest. And this time you have to reach top 20 all the way down to top five. So this is where it starts getting a little challenging for most players. Getting three limbs, while it may not seem like a lot to some people, is a lot to the common player. Next up is gold or legendary, and this is where it gets really tough. It jumps from three limbs to five. Every single quest, you have to get minimum of five kills. So the lowest rank or legendary 10, you gotta get top 15, and then it goes down and down and down, and the last one in the legendary quest is you gotta win with five limbs. So you gotta win the entire match with five kills. If you thought that was bad, wait until exotic, which is next. So this one, you have to get seven eliminations every single quest. And it starts at top 15, and it goes all the way down to winning the match with seven limbs. So it gets exponentially more difficult as it goes. But then the last tier, Mythic, these are borderline absurd. So you have to get 10 eliminations, and you have to win every single match. So even the lowest rank of Mythic, is earn a victory royale with 10 eliminations. So I consider myself a fairly good player. I have almost a thousand solo wins. That's just playing solo. That's not duos, trios, all combined. That's just solo, so I am fairly good. But do you know how many times last season, chapter four, season three, I won a match with 10 or more elims? Probably three or four times, that's it. Most wins I get are three to six kills. But this challenge, if you wanna do it, makes you get 10 victory royales with 10 kills each and every single time. Like I said, that's borderline impossible. Luckily, however, bot lobbies do work. Now, I never do bot lobbies in solo. I've been drugged into bot lobbies a few times by some of my friends, but me personally, I don't play bot lobbies. I don't wanna say it's cheating, but it kinda is. At the same time, I understand, especially for quests like this. If they are so hard to do, why not just use a bot lobby? I might not even be able to make it to Mythic Quests on my own. Because remember, for Exotic Quests, you have to get seven kills every single game for those 10 challenges. I don't think I can even do that. Maybe a few times, but not 10 times. So I guarantee that most people that get this done will be using bot lobbies. I'm not gonna use them until I can't progress any further, and then I might just have to. So I have a friend out there, his name is Rob, one of my good friends, and I've been watching him go through this. He was doing them all just fine and dandy, and then he got to some of these harder ones like Exotic and Mythic, and he showed me the screenshots before I knew what they were. 
and I was just blown away. I mean, seven kills in a win, 10 kills in a win. That's ridiculous. So he too had to eventually resort to bot lobbies and he was showing me as he progressed, he was saying, oh yeah, it's super easy once you get into the bot lobbies, which it is because you shouldn't die. They're actual AI players. There's no real people in there. And he is already done. You can see right here, he's got the mythic prized llama. So this is what it looks like. Obviously the back bling is called the prized llama. And then it just upgrades in rarity as you progress. And this is the ultimate one, the golden mythic. So I wouldn't be surprised if they lower the requirements for these because I doubt anyone legitimately, except for really good pro players or top streamers, are gonna get 10 kill victory royales in 10 different quests. That's a lot of kills, a lot of wins. It's a lot of luck too. So I just wanted to explain how all these work. I'm close to unlocking the back bling. I don't even have it yet. You don't unlock it as far as I can see until you complete the first common medals. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna play three matches and we'll unlock the back bling real quick just so I can see what it looks like. So in zero build at least, reaching these top certain amount of players is super easy because most people drop at the brand new POIs. So half the lobby dies almost instantly. It's just getting the limbs that's gonna make it a little more difficult. Now, obviously with these first few quests, getting one single elimination, chances are you're gonna find a bot or an actual AI and you'll be good to go. But as I showed you, as you get further along, it just gets a bit too much. Two or three eliminations a game, yeah, I could do that. Five, seven, 10, things like that, it's gonna take a lot of luck. And then to actually win the match like you have to do with some of them, crazy. Well, this is ridiculous. I'm in a top 10 situation and I can't find anybody. Like not even one player. I don't know what is going on here. I see people in the kill feed, but I can't find any real people. I cannot believe I've been this entire match without seeing a single person. There is no way. It's not like I'm actively hiding either. I've been running around this whole time. Okay, someone just got clapped right above me. There he is. What the heck? Whoa, I got a kill, let's go! And we just completed the challenge. So look, you can't complete the next one yet. Oh, there's a guy right next to me. Let's go! We won too! Not today, big fella! Easy peasy. So yes, you cannot complete a challenge until the next one. I kind of figured. All right, here we go. Moment of truth to finally unlock the back bling. And there it is right there, the prized llama. Pretty cool. So the first 10 common challenges will unlock you the actual back bling. Every 10 thereafter will make you go up a single rank. Pretty cool, but I'll be impressed if anyone does this legit. Like I said, probably just pro players and the top streamers, but everyone else, I gotta believe, will be using bot lobbies. And of course, remember, you have until the end of the season, so plenty of time to grind. It's nothing you have to rush to. It's a great end of season goal to try and at least get to Mythic. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.